you do another one? A no, no, way? no, no, no. Yeah, right here. That's good. There's a boat right behind us. Oh, you're, you're good. Give it a little bit of starboard back. Back? Yeah, starboard back. Slow yourself down. Go forward. Forward boat. Both boat forward. Yeah. Boat forward. Boat forward. Okay, that's good. about 8 o'clock um, with Riker. We only have about 30 miles to go today, so we decided to sleep in a little bit. Um, we're going to Bay Springs Marina, I believe, today. So today, Katya from Riker is with us. So Hello, thanks <laughs> for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so we had stopped at um, Aqua Yachts and we had separated from Riker for about a week. And so we were, so we caught about two weeks maybe. And um, so then- Yeah, we were gone for like two weeks, uh, for a week. So it was about 10 days. Okay. So yeah. And and so we met back up with them on at um, Aqua Yachts. And I tell you what, Aqua Yachts has four courtesy cars. <laughs> it was awesome. So we were able to go into the little town and have dinner. And um, I think we left the next morning. We left the next morning, yeah. Uh -huh. You were good enough to take the courtesy car and help us to return our rental car. And then we had, guess what? Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> we, Chris is a little obsessed with Mexican food. <laughs> but the day was really pretty. We had a great uh, travel day and... And the scenery was really nice, mm -hmm. so finally. Uh, yes. Finally, it's getting nice again. Yes, yes. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And we had, um, so we're planning, we're heading south again, again, so finally, and we are going to go, I think, to Bay Springs this Bay day? Bay Springs Marina, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
yeah we choose that just to have a short day without any locks just to get back on the water again for us and exactly so we decided to stay at bay springs marina and it was a good choice because uh, about half an hour before that we got wind warnings and the weather got real bad mm -hmm. so we were lucky that we decided like that exactly yeah mm -hmm. i don't think that we i had not seen that the weather was going to do that and the the lady at the lot at the at the marina said that there were a lot of other boats coming in that night just because of the weather yeah because so. it changed so rapidly mm -hmm. nobody really knew it yeah yeah, yeah. So, and that was a nice little cute marina and uh -huh. the girl, she was really nice. She helped us a lot and she was great and they had a courtesy car mm -hmm. as well. They did. They sure did. And guess what we did with the courtesy car? <laughs> <laughs> we had Mexican food. <laughs> well, it was the story. The story is always we got there and uh, everything was closed at Mexican food, wasn't it? Yes. Closed yeah. on Monday. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, we got into Big Springs Lake and it was absolutely gorgeous. The sunshine and everything made it just a pretty, pretty day. Yeah, and it was so smooth and so um, laid back, you know, kind of, because it was, there was nobody around. Just, <laughs> just us. So just we us. just felt, okay, we are the king of the world. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a, it was a nice little area. It was off, it was well, the marina was well off the lake. And so you had to go back in there a little ways, but... Yeah, and she was really nice. She was just, like, really getting us in, and she said, well, you have to go to the fifth dog, and then I got to stand there and wave at you. And so she was really <laughs> doing a great job. She and was... And, yeah, she was pulling us in, like... Yes, well, she did. Life depended on it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> really, really nice young lady. Yes. We, mm. And it was a cute little marina. It was, it was a nice place to be. Yeah. They were really nice, yeah. And then the next morning we uh, took off. It was a little overcast <laughs> and we had uh, multiple locks to go through the next day. And it rained all night, didn't it? Oh, yeah. it did, mm -hmm. yes. It, it rained hard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So everything was wet and, but it was a nice morning. Yeah, exactly. I'm all, we, we were definitely prepared for the rain though. I said, get my rain jacket out. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a yeah. lock ahead of us, right? Yes. yes. At the end of that. It was just right at the marina, so we just had to uh, leave. Wow, this is a big deep lock here. In addition to it raining on us, the the lock was spewing water all over us. We got wet. We got <laughs> really wet. <laughs> it was it was seeping out of the out of the um, the walls, and we just got drenched. Well, this is lock number two this morning. The first one was huge, very deep lock, and let's see about this one. There's four boats here, and it's only like. 9.15 or so, we left at 7.30, so we've already been through two locks. we got one more after this, and we got about 12 miles to the marina, so it's going to be a short day. And it just got prettier. <laughs> now there, there's at least trees on either side of us, so it's a, it's a pretty day. Or it's a pretty scenery. We had a lot of rain overnight, and um, and so everything was just drenched this morning. It's gonna clear off, I think. There's, the the uh, clouds are are breaking up, so that's good. And we have a barge in front of us. Not many barges that we've seen so far on the ten, on the Ten Tom waterway. Chris was very excited to see the cypress trees and the growing in the water. He says, look at that, we're in the south. We are definitely in the south. Good afternoon. It's November 21st. It's about three, three o'clock in the afternoon. And we're here at uh, Midway Marine. Uh,
We had a very short day. We did three locks, but we did about 20, 25 miles. And tomorrow we got a long day. We got four locks and we got to go 60 miles. So we're going to be up at daylight, before daylight, and on our way. We're going to take it easy this evening. And we got a long day tomorrow. And then we'll be at Columbus for Thanksgiving. We'll spend a couple of days there. And uh, we'll only have about six or seven days to finish the travel days till we finish the loop once we get to Columbus. Really enjoying the fall weather today. You can tell we're back in the south. We passed a big stand of cypress trees in the water. I'm starting to get uh, less homesick for Louisiana and Texas. We got up really early this morning because um, we had such a long day to go. And this was a long pier, so we had to just, with a narrow channel, so we had to just back straight out, along with everybody else. <laughs> yeah, so we were just waiting for them to go, and then we had to back out too, so that was kind of um, challenging. Yes. Especially that early in the morning. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But I enjoyed Midway. They had a they had a really nice uh, restaurant. Guys on the water. Guys on the water. Yeah, it was really great. The food was great. The people were nice. Uh, yeah, it was. I enjoyed that very much. The food was excellent. We had, I think we had two meals there. Yeah, we because we liked lunch so much. <laughs> exactly. We went back for dinner. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and they had a, a little ca uh, captain's lounge and a nice it was just a nice it was small but it was a nice little marina yeah that was really nice i enjoyed it very much so this day we're going to have four locks to go through and so we just got up early and headed out yeah and 60 miles and four locks and you never know what happens in the locks that's so exactly how long right it's gonna take yeah exactly <laughs> But we were about five boats or six boats. How many mm -hmm. boats uh, went out? So we were like a flotilla again. Exactly. I think yeah. it was six boats. I think you're right. Yeah. So it takes us a while to all get in the lock, but it was good. We have arrived in our second lock of the morning. It's nine o'clock. And we are all tied up. We're waiting on one more um, uh, sailboat that's back there. We're making the corner. They got to get in our lockage because if not, there's a barge coming the other way. And they're going to be in here for a while, he said. So we're going to wait for the sailboat to get here. I can see the barge waiting out there. A beautiful morning it is chilly <laughs> it's chilly when you have to be outside we have seen an eagle too there's an eagle's nest here in the um right at the end of the lock on the like the light pole and then the actual eagle itself is is in the back but we tried to get video of it but i don't think i think he's too far away yeah We're trying to get to Columbus today. It's a long way with four locks. <laughs> so, but we're, we're trying to make it. We're in the lock and the barge is waiting to come in on the other side. The lock master was awesome. He let us lock through. He had to empty the chamber anyway. So he waited for us so he could empty the chamber with us in it. So very appreciative of that. Well, we have had a long day today. We are going to have traveled 55 miles and four locks. Um, the first three locks we were in with seven, six, six other boats, and um, it was <laughs> it was really long just to get in. But the last lock we had, there was just three of us, so that was kind of nice. And we we will have traveled 25 miles, I think, after the second lock. So it's been 
a nice, pretty, crisp, <laughs> the temperature is cool, it's a crisp day, but it's been, um, it's been a, a, you know, we don't like doing really long days, we don't like these 55 mile days, but, um, but it's not been bad at all. We left Midway Marina this morning um, at 6.30 and we will arrive at Columbus Marina at about 3.45, 4 o'clock, something like that. The, um, we had some boats with us that were going faster, but um, we're with Riker and the two of us were like, this is a perfect speed for us. It's good for fuel economy and it is um and it's good for looking at scenery so so we're happy with we're happy with our speed we're happy with our day um we're gonna stay i think at columbus for a couple of days tomorrow is thanksgiving so columbus is a nice sized town i just talked to columbus is a nice sized town especially for having Thanksgiving. And there's going to be about 20 boats there, 20 loopers there is my understanding. So I don't know if there's going to be something going on. I don't know if we're going to go find something for lunch tomorrow. I don't know what's happening yet for Thanksgiving. But but we will be in a good a good marina for a couple of days. It's supposed It's supposed to get cold the next couple of nights. And um It'll be nice to have electricity, to have power, because we're going to have a few days that we'll have to be on anchor. And um, I prefer having power when we are, um, when it's cold. Then I can run the heater. <laughs> so we're just, we're ending our day. We've got about five miles to go, I think. And um, Riker is up there ahead of us. We've had a sailboat behind us for a long time, but we finally, I think he finally, we sped up for a while and I don't think he could keep up. So, it's a pretty area. It's not as hilly as it was earlier uh, in the day um, and further north. I said the other day that um, Northern Mississippi is a lot hillier than I than I expected this is the kind of this is Mississippi that I was expecting but it's it's pretty too it's a very pretty state we realized the other day that we started our trip over a little over a year ago we went Texas and Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama. And when we got into Mississippi, we're not gonna go through any more new states. So we're just repeating now. We're gonna do Mississippi and Alabama and Florida as we finish up our loop. We're gonna get to Mobile Bay and um, probably go to Fairhope. That's that's what I want. I want to go to Fairhope. And then we're going to uh, go south from there and enter the um, intercoastal. They're close to Gulf Shores. And that's where we're going to cross our wake. I cannot believe that we're crossing our wake this quickly. <laughs> it, it hasn't been quick. It's been a year, but it doesn't seem like it. I just can't believe that we're finishing. But Gulf Shores, Gulf Shores is where we're going to, um, is where we're going to end. And cross our wake. We went to uh, Columbus Marina and had Thanksgiving there. So we went into Columbus itself on Thanksgiving and we went to Cracker Barrel and had our Thanksgiving lunch. Speed Thanksgiving. So this was the experience for us. We never saw anything like that because this was just like, well, 
Yes, yeah, special. <laughs> <laughs> so at Cracker Barrel, they said, we're bringing you your plate. They had it all plated up. You didn't get a choice. That was all they had to offer was Thanksgiving dinner. But it was good. It was, it was good. It was so much fun, yeah. She was just like, we went in, sat down. She brought us our food. We ate it, she brought us our bill, and we left. It was an experience. It was a fast Thanksgiving yeah. dinner. <laughs> yeah. But I liked it. The mm -hmm. food was good. And it was a nice it was a nice little marina. They had a, a courtesy car. They had a courtesy car. It was a it it was a good place to be. The the channel was really narrow coming in and leaving too. Yeah, you know, the guy did a really great job talking us in, so how to get in there. Mm -hmm. But it was really narrow around the fuel dock there, and especially leaving in the really early in the morning, mm -hmm. so at first light. But yeah. Well, we did it. We, we did, did it. it. Once again, we had to leave based on when the lock would take us. So it was maybe, you know, a mile to the lock. So we had to coordinate when the lock is ready for you, and boom, we're gone. And there was a group of us going that day, so we had a, a, a group, a little flotilla, and um, we went to the lock. Yeah, so we went to the lock, and he was pretty good. He was, all the lock masters were really, really nice. They yes. were really talkative and really nice, and they helped us a lot. And in this lock, wasn't it that some of the poles didn't work, the balls? Uh, I think so, about and half of them. he told us exactly where to go, yes. so he was real nice. and. It went without a glitch, so yeah. we had a great start of the day. Absolutely. I can't say enough good things about the Lockmasters. They are wonderful. They they help you, they're there for you, and there's no reason to be worried about them because... Not because, at all. Mm. Yeah. They're really nice. You, you really can call them and talk to them, and they really answer all your questions. Yes. They're really nice. Absolutely. So then we got to um, Kingfisher Marine. Yeah, we went to Kingfisher Marina in Demopolis, Alabama. It was a nice little marina as well. These are all cute little marinas. Um, the, this Much one, easier to get into. It's right oh, off the channel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. We really appreciate your um, support. Um Please make sure you, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And leave us your comments and um, like us and all those things you're supposed to do with um, with, <laughs> with the YouTube channel. Um, we enjoyed our time coming down the rivers. We're getting close to the end. We're almost to uh, Mobile Bay. And we'll be crossing our wake. On the next video. Yeah, we're close. And we're going to be with you. Yes. <laughs> All the way. And we have thank to, you for having me here. Well, and thank you, really Katia, like for, <laughs> for helping us with the voiceover of the video. And uh, uh, we have to hurry before Swin gets over here. <laughs> yeah. We need to have dinner. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all next week. As we, as we enter Mobile Bay. <laughs>